What do you do there? I work with the uh, U.S. military at the terrorist prison. In a terrorist prison there in, uh, in Bagram, Afghanistan. Really? Yeah. We snatch them up and take them to Guantanamo. So that's what I do. It's like the new Guantanamo, isn't it? It is the new Guantanamo. They'll be coming there eventually. It's called it's called actually Parwan Prison. And this is just of your knowledge. I know you gain knowledge from everybody, but Parwan Prison. We have five over five thousand terrorists there from all over the world. Most of them Afghanistan, yes. But we have them from Pakistan, Libya, Syria, Canada, America. It doesn't matter. It's a terrorist prison inside Bagram. It's a military base. There's a prison there with 5,000 prisoners, over 5,073 5, prisoners, all terrorists. Just sanctioned by Trump to continue opening this base, keep it open, run it, put money, American money in it to keep these bad guys off the battlefield. What's changed since Trump came in? Oh shit. Everything. Everything's changed. Before, we weren't allowed even, we were allowed the exterior of the prison. Now we're actually advising in the prison. And we, and we have money to put toward the prison to keep those guys locked up if we need to. Uh, we're training the Afghans to control and hang on to these guys, keep them from escaping. We have Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Haqqani, everybody there. Everybody. How big of a dent have we made since he's got in? I mean, we hear oh, reports shit. in the news that, you know, ISIS is almost gone and all this stuff. I mean... Okay, I'll give you an example. The day before he was elected, the prisoner count was 1895. This is, this is factual. You can Google this shit. Yeah. 1895. At 1,895 prisoners. Since his election, we're now over 5,000 terrorists. He has sent the U.S. military, Air Force, Marines, everybody, everybody, snatch these dumbasses up. And they are truly terrorists. I mean, I see their case files. I, I talk to these guys. I interrogate these guys. That's what I do. They hate America. Their sole What's purpose their reasoning is for, for hating America? I mean, what's, what, because where is of, our, this all because of our beliefs. We're too free. We don't have any rules and guidelines. If we if we weren't there, would they be messing with us at all? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, would, be, they would be in America. In fact, we, we there's several there that were snatched up in America. Oh, yeah. I, that, that we brought over there. They, they were trying to do us harm. They don't believe in the American way. For one, women should not have their hair uncovered and this type oh, of yeah. thing. Oh, you yeah. Know. Now, there's also uh, things like, you know, that in their beliefs, it's okay to lie to an infidel. Sure it is. That's, it's okay said, to kill an infidel. Yeah. In other words, anything that is in you yeah. that's shown over and over again by yeah. their actions. How, but... You know, the question is that I'm going to get here from the so-called moderate Muslims or reformed Muslims. Well, and let me say this. The true Muslims are good people. They really are. I know, I know, I have friends that are Muslim. It's not about Muslim. And that's, I think that's where America's twist yeah. is. They're uneducated. Yeah. And Canada and people like that. True Muslims are good people. Yeah. They really are. You have these extremists that take the Quran and twist it. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah, no, no, that's that's pretty much. Yeah. That, that sounds well. It sounds natural anyway. I mean, if if yeah. all if the numbers the don't fit, if all the Muslims like were, were radicals, we would have been dead a long time ago. Yeah, there's billions of them. Yeah, so, you know what? America's coming for you. <laughs> all right, sir. God bless you. Thank you very much for what you do. Thank you.
Oh, sir. As I said, folks, you don't get this anywhere else. I don't invite these people. They just walk up. This is the battle in New Orleans, part D.